Hello, and welcome to Isenzo Media Caster, a powerful yet easy to use application suite that allows you to create and manage a variety of digital media networks. This second tutorial will guide you through the steps required to configure your manager and player applications so that they will communicate with each other using the FTP server. First, we need to configure the manager. Open Start, Programs, Isenzo Media Caster, Manager. The first time you run the manager, you are required to register as the administrator. Enter the administrator username you want to use, as well as a password of your choice. Enter the password again to confirm. MediaCaster will now start and display a screen stating that it is running in trial mode. Click Close to proceed. To begin, we need to create a client or group. A client is basically a container that stores all the necessary elements required for a network including media, players, channels, and schedules. Right-click Clients or Groups and select New. On this page, you can enter details for this particular client. In this example, we will only enter the most relevant details, which are the client description, which is required, and the FTP server settings. In this tutorial, we are using the default Microsoft FTP server, which allows anonymous access. So enter Anonymous. Then enter your email address as the password. Click the Test button to test the FTP server. If the test fails, check your settings. Once you have tested the server successfully, close the test dialog and remember to save the new client's details. The client that you created is now displayed on the left along with the various resources that belong to that client. Channels the channel module is used to define a group of players that can be scheduled as one entity. Channels are dynamic. Players can be assigned or deassigned from channels at will. Media. The media module is used to manage your content. You can import a variety of video and still image formats. You can also trim your media items and assign meta tags for later reporting. Overlays. The overlay module is used to create multimedia layouts that contain more than one media object. For example, a screen that contains a combination of video, still images, and a scrolling ticker. Players. A player is a PC connected to the network via IP that runs the MediaCaster player application. Use the player module to create new players and configure their behavior. Playlists. This module is used to create and manage playlists of media. Schedules. Use this module to create schedules that assign playlists and overlays to be displayed at specific times on specific channels. To proceed with our setup, we need to create a player and assign it to a channel. To add a player to your client, right-click the Player node and select New. Now enter a description for the player as well as the IP address. In this tutorial, we have installed the player and manager application on one PC. We'll use the IP address 127.0.0.1. This can be used to refer to the same PC. It is a loopback IP. You do not have to change your actual PC IP address. Leave the port number at 5555. The port number is used when you have more than one player behind a router or firewall using NAT. The other settings are covered in the advanced settings tutorial and are not required at this time. Click Save and click on the player node and you will now see your player in the list. A player must belong to a channel to be able to receive scheduled content. Create a new channel by right-clicking the channel node and selecting New. Enter a description for the channel and use the arrow icons to assign your player or players to this channel. Then click Save. The manager application is now configured. Next, we need to set up the separate player application which would normally run on a separate PC. For the demo network, we are running the player and the manager on the same machine. To begin, open Start, Programs, Isenzo Media Caster, Setup, Player Setup. Now enter the IP address of your player. For this tutorial, we have installed the player and the manager on the same PC. The IP address 127.0.0.1 can be used. This is a loopback IP which refers to the same machine and is only used within MediaCaster Manager and Player. You do not have to change your actual PC IP address. Leave the port number at 5555. 
The port number is used when you have more than one player behind a router or firewall that uses NAT. Now, enter the IP address for the FTP server. Since we are using the same PC for the FTP server, the player and the manager, the IP address 127.0.0.1 can be used to refer to the same PC. Now, enter the same username and password that you used in the client FTP configuration in the manager. In this tutorial, the username is anonymous and the password was my email address. Here, you can enter the path of the FTP directory. In this tutorial, we're using a simplified example and therefore you can use the root as the directory. So enter forward slash. Please note that we use a forward slash, not a backslash. If you are configuring a standalone player, then this option should now be enabled. However, we are running the player and manager on the same machine, so we will disable this option. The other player settings are covered in the advanced tutorial, so we can leave them for now. Congratulations! You have now set up everything that is required to broadcast media over your digital signage network. In the next tutorial, we will show you how to import media, build a playlist, and schedule that playlist for display on your channel.